guys welcome back to our ultimate fast api series and today's topic is going to be really important and really interesting today we are going to discuss everything about database models how we can create tables like the way we create tables in sql and we create relationships make use of foreign keys we'll see everything in our python fast api how we can do that how we can form relationships how we are going to deal with one to one mapping one to many mapping or many to many mappings so this we had already set up in our previous video we are going to use the same setup we are going to use sqlite db so we are uh, going to start from here every database model has to be in inherited from our base class which comes from our declarative base so what we'll do is id is already created email is already created uh, we'll create one hashed password which is going to be our string we'll create one is active whether the user is active which is going to be our boolean so i'll just import a boolean i'll import some foreign key and that's it we'll see along and boolean and we can also set the default as the user created will be active now i'll just create one item now what we're trying to frame here is that user will be the owner of items he can own multiple items but one item must be owned by one user so this is going to be one is to one also and one is to many mappings that we're going to see here so table name for the item is going to be items now id uh, it's going to be integer and primary key and suppose we'll just take uh, the title which is going to be our string and we'll take some description which is going to be again string and now what else we can take is now we're going to create a foreign key to the user now this will be our owner id which is going to be our uh, column integer and this is a foreign key and here we'll pass in the table name along with the attribute so users dot id this way now this has created a foreign key to the user now this is a one is to one mapping one item owned by one user now there's one more thing very interesting we get with sql alchemy like usually what we'll do is uh, i'll just take some cases uh, when i have some item um, suppose I got it from database only right and now what I can do is uh, if I want to know the user right so what I'll do is I'll refer it by oh, item dot owner ID and I'll find user with this right then I'll get the user but what SQL alchemy gives us is we can create one relationship so that we can directly do item dot owner and we'll get that user so we'll see how we can do that so what i'll do is i'll create one owner relationship and this relationship will import from orm orm as i've told you object relational mapping and relationship so now what we'll do is this relationship is from will provide the table now or in this case when we are doing with the uh, when we are dealing with the foreign key we'll have to provide the table name but when we are dealing with the relationship we'll provide the class name so what i'll do is this is going to be a class user and there's one thing very important which is back populates which is going to be my items i'll show you what this is i'll create items here and this is a relationship with the item and back populates is owner okay item because it's declared after it yeah so what i'll do is i'll just put it in this and better i'll just put it this also like that right so uh how this uh, is working is like owner now i can refer as item dot owner and i'll get the user for which uh, the owner is given to me right and user dot items will give me a list of all the items that are owned by this user so this is creating a relationship 
with the user and back populates is like uh, suppose an item is created when the item is created the owner id is set the owner is set so this back populate it will go to items and it will place this item in that list and same goes here in relationship we need to create for this attribute here and the back populate should point to this so this is a cross relationship that we need to form and apart from this uh, when i'm defining this there needs to be a foreign key for that so now i can directly access uh, any user dot items this will give me list of items owned by user and here i can do is uh, directly i can do is item dot owner this will give me the user who owns this item so this way we have created this uh, one is to one mapping right one is to one mapping that one item owned by one user now we have also created one is to many mapping like one owner can have or one user can own multiple items so this way how we deal with one is to one and one is to many mappings now we'll deal with uh, many is to many mapping m is to m mapping and this is going to be our suppose let's take example of some social media I'll suppose we have some instagram post we'll create one post right so this way uh, one user can create multiple posts or not uh, one user can like multiple posts right and one post can be liked by multiple users right so this we'll see now so we'll create one class post base and table name is going to be our posts and id which is going to be our integer primary key true now content uh, some description on only string now what i'll do is we need to define the owner of it one is to one mapping again similar to this so here i'll take it as author id column and which is integer and this is the foreign key to our users dot id right now so that i can refer post dot author similar to the owner i'll create a relationship with the user and this will back populate my posts now i need to create posts here post is equal to relationship which is post back populates is author so i can refer user dot post which will give me all the posts created by that user again one is to one and one is to many mappings right so now uh, how can i make this many is to many mapping one user can like multiple posts multiple and one post can be liked by multiple users so in these cases we need to create one association table so i'll show you how we can create that table we'll import table from here and we'll create one table we'll name it as liked post association table right and which is going to be table and i'll just name it as like post association right or let's just name it as total same that won't cause any issue yeah so now what this is we'll pass in base dot metadata as base is required to create that database model now i'll define my columns now column would be first one would be our uh, post id for which post it is that is integer and this is a foreign key to our po post dot id now next one is our column is our user id and user id is again integer which is again a foreign key to our users dot id so this way we have created our association table this is our association table or uh, yeah let's just uh, let the name be like that or let's just keep a short name just for our reference like posts yeah sounds nice yeah like post this is our association table just i wanted to show you how association table works so this will keep track of suppose our post id and user id 
suppose post ID 1 is liked by user 2 now post ID 1 is also liked by user 3 this way right so now how we can create that relation here what we'll do is liked by users so when I do post dot liked by users I should get all the users list of users who have liked this post I'll create relationship and relationship should be with user and the main thing here is secondary secondary will take the association table and on the association table is like posts right so I'll just give in like posts yeah and my back populates has to be there back populates I'll create one entry in the user uh, suppose I write it as posts liked simple so now I'll just create it posts liked relationship which is with post secondary I need to give uh, which is going to be my like uh, like posts and back populates is going to be our liked by users so now this has created a many to many mapping now the main thing is the difference between these two is only of the secondary secondary comes into play when we have a many to many mapping we need to provide this table name like that so what I'll do is I'll just run it and we'll analyze what our SQL DB looks like then um, UVCon okay we have got the SQL DB I'll just open it here yeah so we have got items ID title description owner ID post ID column author ID users has got ID email hash password is active and an index on email and this is our liked po like post which contains post ID and user ID which will have all the post uh, and user mapping for which they have liked so this, these are the few things that you need to take care of while defining your tables or models this is how you can create one is to one mapping one is to many mapping the use of foreign keys I think this is it uh, with this you can create any sort of relationship or tables I hope you like this video thank you